Soccer again on Cards TV with head coach Karen Ferguson Days. I'm Sean Moth. Great to see you again. And we roll back to a Big East weekend on the road. The entire athletic department, Road Warriors. It was a quiet weekend in the Ville. Uh, you guys had that tough trip that we talked about. It started in Milwaukee, uh, you know, top 25 team in Marquette. And uh, they were better on the day. Yeah, flat out better than we were on the day. Um, we played okay. Yeah. Bottom line is I don't think our clearances were great. And we, we lost a little bit of composure on the ball. So our possession... It wasn't there. It wasn't what it needs to yeah. be in a game like that. But but flat out, Marquette was better on the day. One thing that uh, social media allows you on occasion is to follow the team in aspects away from the game. And I know that that being Chloe Kiefer's hometown, fifth year senior, uh, you guys were able to gather a little bit and kind of have a little fellowship and kind of step back from the game and enjoy yourselves a little bit. And I know that's nice. Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. The Kiefer's, uh, we thank Mike Kiefer for hosting us at his house. Whitefish Bay might be one of my favorite little towns. Yep. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is. Um, only to be nicer, uh, well, only that Mike Kiefer might be nicer than Whitefish Bay. Absolutely yeah. fantastic man. Yeah. Um, Chloe's been an extraordinary player for our program, person for our program. Sure. So it's nice to get back to that house for sure. And she did play well. I mean, eight saves. She was kept pretty busy by the Warriors. Yes. The Golden she, Eagles, sorry. She um, she took, she made one save, and after the game Saturday morning at breakfast, I said to her, Chloe, how did you do that? She's like, she points at Kyle, and she, point, you know, she pointed at him. Like, he taught me that. She's like, I, I don't really know. I just kind of dove, and... I saved it, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, she took one straight off the face twice in a row uh, to keep it at zeros at halftime. Wow. I was proud of the fact that they didn't score until so late with sure. the amount of chances that they had. Yeah. But the two goals that they do score are off the set pieces. The first one's a deflection. And the second one, unfortunately, Chloe, I did. I think she did just definitely misread it. Yeah. Um, again, on the day, Marquette was a better team. Sure. So you roll ahead to Tampa, and the cards take on USF. and. It seems like all these Big East programs have turned into rivalries, but in particular, those teams from Conference USA that you've kind of been around for a while, and it, it's kind of hostile territory down there. I know that uh, you would have liked to have come away with three points, but all in all, you're pretty pleased with the performance, especially late in that one. Yeah, again, we gave up a goal in the first five or six minutes and had our backs against the wall. And um, after the 20-minute mark when we settled into the game and realized, wow, this is what are we doing here? I thought we played much better. Yeah. We kept better possession of the ball. Our clearances were better. We created more chances. Um, difficult because it's about 90, 90 degrees on the day. Sure. Certainly they had a plane at also, but we just don't have the depth that we've had early yeah. on in the year. Um, certainly not an excuse. Battled back. Christine Exeter gets us the penalty kick, which is absolute, which was absolutely a penalty kick. Yeah. Um, and, and we bury it. It was a great PK. And then we had some chances. We, sure. we definitely had enough chances at the end of the, the regulation and, and into both of the overtimes. Yeah, Karen's never going to admit to it, but the cards have been thinned a little bit by injuries. And as you get the end of the stretch of the Big East, it, it gets to be a little bit of a grind. Uh, talk about who stood out over the weekend. Because I know you, you come away with just the one point on a road weekend. You'd like more. But I know some players made some individual performances yeah, worth noting. Yeah, probably um, on Sunday the best two players were, were Chelsea and Rich. Our two center backs were absolutely fantastic um, defensively, and, and what we've really been getting on them about was being able to have composure and keep possession, sure. and they both did that exceptionally yeah. well. Uh, Lauren Nash stepped in for an injured Devin Ciotti and played very, very well. I mean, 90 minutes probably for her first. Uh, she's gotten some minutes here and there, sure. but to play continually in a, in a game like that is difficult. And, and probably the, the first-year kid that I was the most happy with was Irene Young. I thought she okay. did an outstanding job for us. Um, she struggled with her conditioning to really put together solid minutes for us, and um, she did a much better job on Sunday. With the heat, in those circumstances, she did a very, very good job. She has a great ability and understanding of pressure and how to keep the ball. Um, she uses her body exceptionally well, so I think she allowed us to get the ball into the final third, and, and she was dangerous for us. Learning on the run for the freshman, always an experience. The cards have two divisional opponents. It's a huge weekend, and uh, it'll be here at Cardinal Park, so we encourage you to come out and check things out. It starts with Villanova on Friday, very good Villanova team, just uh, right there with you in the standings in the division, and then looming on Sunday is a Georgetown team that we talked before off camera that is probably the best team in the Big East. So. 
challenge presents itself, I, you guys just have to embrace it and start with Friday night. Yes, yeah, certainly. First things first, most important game on the schedule is Friday night against Villanova. Uh, I think they started off the season a little bit slow, but certainly um, they're, they're picking it up right now. And I've always had a ton of respect for John and Villanova, so we know we've got a match. We know we've got a great game in store for us on Friday sure. night. Take a look at your calendar, see if you can join us on Friday and then again on Sunday for some Cardinal women's soccer as Louisville forges ahead in Big East Conference play. Again, Villanova Friday, Georgetown on Sunday. Karen, we appreciate your time. Good luck to you and the team. Thanks, Sean. For Karen Ferguson Days, I'm Sean Moth. We'll talk next week right here on Cards TV.